How's it going? My name's Lisa and I run the local school here in Kanungra, Kanungra Sky Sports and I teach hang gliding and paragliding and you're at Mount Tambourine and this is one of our better sites we've got here. It's around about 1700 feet high. Um, the launch is, it's quite quite shallow launch so um, you want to make sure in light winds you've got a good run and don't get into the air too early here. Yep. The other thing it is a, a tree tree slot so we really do want the wind coming straight up the hill so be be aware when you're taking off from here if you're getting winds from the north um, also from the, the south because it does cause quite a bit of turbulence on launch as well the other thing is when you fly out here um, you've got a shelf just out in front um, you don't want to get below the shelf in front um, if you get below the shelf in front you want to be heading towards the landing field which the landing field is Right over there where there's a bit of a clearing next to, there's a road called Wagon Wheel Road and the clearing is where the club owns, so that's the landing field. So it's important if you get below the shelf, head out. Um, many people have kind of un come unstuck by um, not going out and landing in the trees and they're actually really to the trees. So now for cross country, this, this site's great, okay? Um, you've got the landing field just below us here when you get off here, uh, we, you try to get as high as you can, okay? The height limit here is 7,500 feet, so don't break the height limit because there we've got the airport from Gatta and also from Brisbane as well. Generally what the plan is to get up to go cross country, get up high here, and then over the next mountain over is called Mount Misery. And that's generally where everyone goes is over there, and that's really good um, thermal release over there. So we get up on Mount Misery and generally then we just keep, most of the time we'll, we'll head south, um, southwest and head that way. And if you get it really good and you get over the dividing range, that's just amazing. Also, this is where when we have the Kanungra hang gliding um, comp here, we, we use this site half the time. And so it, it is an awesome site. But, but give it respect just if there's, there's crosswinds and talk to the locals. The other thing as well with landing everywhere, make sure you don't like anything, don't land with the cattle um, and be pleasant to the landowners. Okay, Beachmont is our east facing side. It, um, it can actually handle quite a lot of wind. It's the site we sort of go to to do the best distances because we can go with the wind and cover as much distance as possible. The, the height of takeoff is about 1,700 feet. It's, Beachmont is, it is a very early morning site, so it is quite scratchy in the morning, but you get high and you head back to Bow Desert and get into the flatlands. Now Beachmont's very well known for, it's the longest dis world record set by Johnny Duran from taking on from point A and landing at point B in a straight line. Because um, most of the rest of them are set by dragonflies or trikes, so that's the longest distance set by foot launch. Um, the, the takeoff is very easy, it can handle a lot of wind as well. Not like tambourine, can't handle too much wind. Um, Beachmont is also a nice afternoon soaring site, so you can actually go there when the sea breeze comes in and stay up for hours and cruise around with your mates in top land. It's really good to always um, talk to the locals because you've got to know where to land and where to top land. The sites are very sensitive again, so definitely fly with a local. Beachmont. With Beachmont, we call it, there's only so many tickets out of Beachmont, okay? So if you get a thermal, you get high, you take it and you go cross country because it's all on at Beachmont, or she's all going down. So 